Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the commands in the CLI for Unify. In my last video on layer three switching, some people wanted to see. So we'll go into our access points, we'll go into our switch, and we'll go into the UDM Pro. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And we have a Discord server, which I'll put a link in the description below. First, let's take a look at the access point CLI. We'll look at my Unify U6LR, which is on 192.168.10.179. You could either SSH right from the command line on Windows as it's built in, or you could use PuTTY. I'm going to use PuTTY as I just prefer it. So we'll bring up a PuTTY session and then we'll type in 192.168.10.179. And then we're going to accept the server host keys. Now it's going to ask us to log in as, and where do we find this information? So if we go to settings and then site, you could see underneath that we have device authentication, and then we could see SSH authentication. This is where you're going to find your username and password. I've set my username to YouTube and then my password to YouTube as well. You want to make sure it's a strong username and password, or you could use SSH keys. I'll bring back putty and then we'll log in as YouTube. And then our password will be YouTube. Okay, now we are in to my U6LR. And if we want to see some commands, we could type in help. This will be most of the commands that you use on the access point. We could type in info and it's going to show us the information of this access point. So we have our model, which is the U6LR. We could see the firmware version, the MAC address, IP address, the host name that I've given it in the uptime. We could also see which controller it's connected to. So it's connected to 192.168.10.1, which is my UDM Pro. The next command is set default. So if you want to factory reset this access point, you could just type in set default and then press enter and that will bring it to a defaulted state. The next command that we could do if we want to push it to a different controller would be the set inform command. So we'd type set inform HTTP colon slash slash the IP address of your new controller. So I'll just say 192.168.10.1 colon 8080 and then inform. So this will push an inform request to the new Unify controller and then you will see it pending adoption. We could also do a firmware upgrade. Sometimes from the GUI interface, the updates don't push out. So we could type upgrade and then we would put in a URL where the firmware is located. So you could find Unify firmware right on their website. So those are the basic commands within our Unify access point. But if we want to see more commands, all we do is press the tab key twice. Now you can see there's a ton of different options. We have firmware update, we have git random, we have grep, we have gun zip, we have hut plug call, we have vi, which is the text editor. We could see the uptime, so I'll type that right now. And we could see this access point's been up for 13 days, 18 hours, and 11 minutes. We could also do if config to see the interfaces. And then we could do iw config, which will show us our wireless interface. We scroll up a bit. Number one has a channel of 36. We could see the access point MAC address. We could see the link quality. We could see the transmit power. And then we could see our noise level, which is minus 61 dBm. So as you can see, there's a lot of commands within the access point, but we don't really use it. We typically just use these commands here listed under when we type help. The next set of commands we'll look at is under the UDM Pro. So we need to first enable SSH on the UDM Pro. How we do that, we go to our settings and then we click on advanced. Under advanced, we could see SSH and we're going to enable it and then give it a password. Once we give it a password, we'll press confirm and now we'll open up PuTTY again. I'll type in the IP address of my UDM Pro, so 192.168.10.1, press enter. And then we need to log in as root and then that password we created. And now we're into the Unify Dream Machine command line. And I found this list of commands on Reddit by username 9switch. And I'll post this in the description below. But it does show you the equivalent to the Cisco command. So show version on Cisco is now info on the UDM Pro. So let's go ahead and try some of these commands. So if we type in info, it's going to show us our model, which is the Unify Dream Machine Pro. It's going to show us the version of firmware we're running, the MAC address. It will show you your public IP address, and then it will show you the host name and uptime. It will also show you the controller that you're connected to. The UDM Pro has a controller built in, so it's just our local host. We could look at our interfaces on the UDM Pro by going IF config, and this will show us all our sub interfaces for the VLANs that we created. So we have switch 0.60.70. If we scroll up, we'll have .30.40. 
for every other network that we've created on the UDM Pro other than the LAN network. We could type in the command ifstat and this will show us interface stat. So ifstat. And if we scroll up, we could see what it's doing. So under the column on the left, it's our receive packets. The one beside it is our transmit packets. And then we have our receive data and then we have our transmit data. This could be useful to see if a physical link is working and receiving and transmitting data. We could type in the command TCP dump and this will give us a packet capture. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but we may do a video just based on TCP dump. We wanna see the status of our VPNs. We could do IPsec status all. And this will show us that I have an L2TP server running. We could see the public IP address. We could see any using IKE version one. What commands I use most on the UDM Pro is to restart my controllers. Sometimes it gets hung and you can't even restart it from the UDM Pro GUI. So how we do that, we type in unify-os shell. And this brings us into the unify OS shell. To restart our network controller, we could type unify-os restart. And then we hit enter and it will restart our network controller. Sometimes we need to restart our unify protect by the command line as well. Right now you can see that it's running on my UDM Pro. We could type in service unify dash protect restart. And once I hit enter, you'll see the controller go offline and restart. We could see that it's offline and it will reboot and we could get back into our controller if it's hung. Now let's SSH into one of my switches. We'll go into my enterprise switch. I'll bring up putty. And we'll type in 192.168.10.73 and press enter. We'll put our username in as YouTube and then the password of YouTube. And this is our switch CLI. If we type in help, we'll have the same commands that we had on our access point. We have info set default and set inform. We have upgrade and FW update. We also could reboot the switch from the command line. But to go deeper into the command line, we need to telnet into our local host. So we'll type telnet local host and now this is very much like cisco if you were used to the cisco cli if we don't know a command we could press the question mark and this will tell us what we could do so we could do enable we could do exit help logout we could change the password we could quit or we could do some show commands so i'll type in show and then i'll press question mark from here we could do show environment event log fiber ports we could look at the hardware we could look at the host the ip mac address table and so on and so forth so let's take a look at the environment. So we'll show environment and you don't need to type in the full command. If you type in the first couple digits and then press tab, it will autofill. So in this switch, it has a bunch of different temperature sensors. We can see there's TA, PSU, temp one, temp two, the Mac, and then these physicals. We could see the maximum temperature and then we could see the alerting temperature. We could also see the fan status, the speed of both of the fans, the duty level and the state which they're both operational right now. We could also see the power supply unit information, which it is working as it should. Now let's go into privilege mode and how we do that, we type in the command enable. From enable, we could hit the question mark again and it will show us a whole list of new configs. We could do clear, we could do configure, which enters into global config mode. We could copy, debug, delete, dir, disconnect, dot one X. We could enable, erase, exit, file, description, so on and so forth. What you'll most likely be doing within the CLI, if you're even using the CLI, will be the show command. So we'll type in show and then question mark. And we could show a bunch of different things. We could show the CLI banner. We could show the clock. We could show DHCP or show debugging. So let's take a look at our VLAN. So all we need to do is go show VLAN and press enter. And this will show us all the VLANs that are configured. We have our default, which is VLAN 1. We have 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 111, 155, 160, and 4040. We could show our IP route. So if we type in show IP route, this is the route that all our networks take. So our static route, our default route will be going out 10.255.253.1. This is the inner VLAN routing that the switch automatically created when I turned on layer three switching. As you can see, there's a ton of commands that you could do. Most of your work will be done in the GUI interface. The main commands I use are just to restart the controllers. If you have any questions about this video, leave a comment below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell icon.